So how can we play this market now? Time to ask a professional, Chris Tinker, Head of Equity Research at ICAP Apollo. Uh, Chris, it does seem that we're getting quite a lot of bad news or concerning news on sovereign debt in general. How does this affect your portfolio management? Well, I mean, the first thing is it, it takes me back, you know, five, ten years when we would get a Fitch downgrade coming ahead of a possible Moody's downgrade, and everybody would rush around saying, do they know something earlier than anybody else? The reality is the situation in Greece is not new news. I think the EU is indicating its wish and its, its concern to make sure that this doesn't become a, a bigger issue for, for the, the broader concerns about the euro. But it's a, it's, it's a flag here. Governments have been spending a lot of money to try and get us out of these recessionary conditions or not been able to generate as much tax revenue. And that's putting pressures on public finances and the, and the bond markets are reacting accordingly. Is what happened in Dubai actually exacerbating investors' concerns? Are we actually risking a default in Greece? No, I don't think we've got a default issue here. I think taking Greece down to triple B plus Obviously, once you go beyond that, then the people who can physically hold sovereign debt um, at a, at a non-investment grade is going to fall away. So there's, there's a structural shift coming. So it's an, it's an alert and it's a warning. But the Dubai situation is slightly different. This was not sovereign debt. This was companies that were assumed to be backed by the state. I think the market's waking up to the reality that you, know, you are buying what it says on the tin here. It is not a sovereign credit and you shouldn't really be treating it as such. Now, Chris, I spoke to you last week, and since we've had Ben Bernanke saying there's still headwinds to the U.S. economy, we're hearing from the pre-budget report today. We're also hearing that uh, Timothy Geithner may actually extend uh, the program into the stimulus program into October of next year. Has that changed the way you view the, the global the global picture? No, I mean we still think that the policymakers are very intent on ensuring that economic recovery is supported by policy rather than potentially conflicted by policy going into 2010. We do anticipate a low interest rate environment being sustained, fiscal policy being sustained. And what we're really looking for from an equity point of view is what companies have now got themselves sufficiently operationally geared, you know, they've cut their costs sufficiently that any pickup in demand is going to be feeding through the bottom line. Very much about identifying the winners, the guys who have actually adapted to this environment and are benefiting from what's still going to be a very accommodative policy environment. Uh, Chris, what about the UK? Today we're getting this pre-budget report and well, we're actually expecting big news. Yeah, well, I think, I think what the pre-budget report is going to flag up is concerns about what may be coming a little bit further down the line. I think it's going to be, we're going to keep our a finger on the on the stimulus button as long as we can because we're very concerned as as uh, uh, David Blanchflower and others flagged up the other day very concerned if we take the stimulus way too quickly we could fall over again so I think the message is going to be to try and sustain the, the, the pace of what looks like a recovery coming out of, in, out of Q3 into Q4 into next year and almost a hope for the best policy. But the headlines are going to be grabbed by the publicity seeking comments about bankers' bonuses and everything. The reality is the policy makers are saying we'll do what we can. Uh, Krishna, I, I know you also have a, a charity day today at ICAP, but I just want to mention because we're getting into the holiday season, people are getting dressed up. Last year you raised 11 million. Are you going to beat yeah. it this year? Well, we hope so. I mean, we've raised over 100 million worldwide over the last 17 years, been running this this charity day. Everything goes to charity worldwide. They, they got off to a flying start in Asia. The whole of ICAP dresses up in fancy dress all day. We get about 80 celebrities coming in today. It's going to be a great day. It always is. And it is, it's the start of the holiday season for us and hopefully for the for the 120 charities we're raising money for worldwide today. Chris, I want to see pictures. Thank you so yeah, much. Chris Tinker, either. there, yeah. head of equity research at ICAP Apollo. Well,